Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I'm just going to do a video making some, what I'm going to call quick ephemera because um, I pretty much, uh, I've nearly finished my three journals that I'm working on. However, I've run out of ephemera, so, um, but I didn't want to do uh, a whole lot of complicated ephemera. Um, I just wanted to sort of do a few quick things that weren't as bulky because the journals are already pretty bulky as it is. Um, ladies who receive them, you are going to have to take things out. And so I've just printed out some of my old letters on some tea dyed paper that I had. And those are just going to be torn around and they'll just be folded and put in pockets. And then I've got some, I've got some of my Oh, well, that was a bit of a mistake, that one. Um, I've got some of my coffee tea dyed paper. So I'll use that for backing and things like that. And then I printed on, I've got A4 sheets of straw paper. Um, I haven't been, I haven't put that A4 sheets into my shop because they're slightly more expensive than buying the other type of paper. Um, and um, these are already pre-cut to A4, but I like to print a few things on them. So they're just going to be torn as well and put into pockets and then I have these I haven't published this one yet but I think I'm going to prepare a couple of these I love these this is French I have the original um, when I get that into a digi kit I will show you the original and these are some other postcards that I've got um, that I have the originals of as well and all I'm going to do is back them with something um, and then um, oh and I've got a a few linens printed as well so I'm just going to back them with something and then um, I'm just going to make some long tags and some journaling cards and things just to slip in the pockets because you don't want everything to be super bulky is what I'm thinking and then I've got these here because I need these for tags now my only problem is I've got my cord here and it's annoying me now am I recording yes I am because it stopped I, I turned it on and then it stopped so um, yes anyway so let's get on with it so what I'm going to do with this one is and I'm not as organized as I thought I need my um, other coffee dyed papers I'm going to back it with some coffee dyed paper if I can uh, so just one of these is that going to be yep so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to literally glue that hold it up to the light just bear with me a second I'm holding it up to the light to make sure so basically if I put it like that okay it'll be all over so I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to glue everywhere and I've never done this before so who knows it's actually got um, I've actually scanned the reverse side as well of this uh, middle card I think it was like in chocolates or something like that um, and you could put it, I don't know, I scan them, I don't know if they're the same size. They should be, in theory, the same size, but who knows. I'd have to get my husband to look at that. Um, if you wanted it to have it front front and back with the original, like it was in the original file. I mean the original cards. Uh, however, I've just got them like this, and I'm going to back them with um, this tea dyed paper. I'm just going to make sure... Sorry, did I get this? Yes, I think that's going to be good. Now, where's my little? I do have my little card here. Just going to flatten it out. And then I'm. Oh, just a minute. I might just take my thing off for a second. Oh, I'm going to fall off my chair. Oh, sorry, my little thingy majiggy was a little bit. Oh, oh my little um thing that holds it down. Oh, and I dropped my microphone. Oh my goodness, I'm back. I am back. Right. So let me just trim this. I don't have my little plastic thing that holds it down. It's all the way over there. I don't want to fall off my chair. So let me just see if I can line this up vaguely. Everything's always a bit vague, isn't it? Probably should wait till it dries, but I'm very impatient. Who can be bothered to wait until it dries? Um, now, 
how do I manage to get so cramped? I think I put out too many things thinking I might need them. But I don't look and I've gone crooked. I pull out too many things thinking I might need them. That's what I need my plastic thing for. But anyway, you know. You know how it is. Okay, so this. And it's probably not a good idea to do this. But I'm going to do it. Yes, that's okay, so it didn't do too badly. And then I'm going to trim this one. So these are just printed onto copy paper. And because I didn't want them to be too thick. And, um, and then I'll stitch around the edge. And it gets folded in half, I'll show you. I need to cut that out. Hopefully I've cut it fairly straight. first. Oh, I need to go and see. I uh, need to go out for a minute too. So, anyway. Doesn't matter what time I go out. Yep. There we go. Right. So, just throw that down there. Move this aside. I may not... Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. And so then I'm going to fold them. This is how they were. The original thing is it's like a little card. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like that, do you see? I've got my bone bone folder here somewhere. Okay, so that's that. And then I need to cut the little window out. Love this. I've never shown you this before, have I? Keeping secrets I am. Right. Can't wait until it's antique market time. Cannot wait. In summer, I mean, summertime, there's not much going on. It all happens in winter here. Let's do a little bit of um, fussy cutting here. So I won't cut the other one. How about that in the video? I'll just do one so you can see how gorgeous this is. I don't know what I'm waiting for, seriously, to put it into a kit. So I hope everybody's well. I've sort of started, gone right into it. So two of my racks have arrived. Just waiting for the, the third one to arrive. Hopefully it doesn't get, it's not lost. Now I did make a discovery today when I was um, having a look on the, um, I was just working out some shipping for some of the, the paper bundles that I'd sold um, because um, a couple of ladies have bought more and so we're just trying to figure, I was just figuring out, um, you know, what would, what my um, weight range was so that I could add more. I'm having trouble going around the corner there so I'll go to there and get rid of this bulk here. And so anyway I saw there's another method of shipping. Now this method is called um, poster mail and it is surface mail and it's a little bit cheaper than what I've been using. Uh, however so what I've been using is, um, is meant to arrive in between 7 and 12 days. Working days, these are guys. Do, you can't count, and, and always you've got to count it from the day after I ship it. Um, and you can't count weekends. Working days means not weekends. Um, anyway, as we know, they don't arrive necessarily that quickly. Actually, I've noticed ever since they brought that in, you see? Ever since they brought that in, they've actually slowed. It's even slower. So, um, so there we go. That's an instant little journaling card. Love it. Okay. And I'll stitch around that, just the periphery of it, just to make sure it all stays together. And I think I'll stick it under a book so it flattens. It's got the tea dyed paper inside and the lovely ladies on the outside. So I'll do the other one afterwards. And I told you, super fast ephemera because we can't have everything complicated and bulky in the journals because that just doesn't work. Um, yes, yeah, so I found this new... Um, I thought I saw my ruler there. And now I can't see it. I'll use that one. I'll use that one for those over there, but I want my other one. I don't want that one for this now. Where is it? There it is. 
Um, it's a little bit cheaper, however, and now what was I saying before? I was saying that um, they they will arrive, um, go by surface, so not email, uh, which means they're like for Oceania, which I think includes Australia and Asia. Just let me tell you this. They're saying um, 16 working days. However, uh, as we know, we probably should double that. So if anyone is interested in that, there will be no tracking number. If you decide to use that method, um, um, it's your choice. Uh, I don't really have a tracking number for the other airmail one, although there is a number on the parcel, but it can't be tracked outside of Italy. But at least um, if it were to go astray, I could go down to the post office and the post office can see when it left Italy. So then we know that it's um, stuck in customs in the States, if you know what I mean. So, um, aren't these pretty? So, um, yeah, so if you choose that method... Um, you're going to be responsible for the sh like you know if it goes astray I won't be able to do anything about it or if you want me to resend um, but you'd have to pay for the shipping again uh, because it can't be traced and and it could take forever to arrive and I can't know that I can't know how long it's going to take now I've sent things um, by mail and they've taken three months to arrive so you know, the, the customs just seem to be slowing around, down all around the world. So um, I really don't know what to say about that. Um, so if anyone wants that cheaper, cheaper method, really cheaper method, um, before purchasing, um, contact me and I'll tell you what the prices are. But you know you're purchasing um, now at your own risk and that um, I won't be able to do anything about it if it disappears um, this is what you're agreeing to if you want to use that method I you know 97 90 no maybe even more 99% of the time the parcels arrive safe and sound it's very rare um, I have a couple that you know literally don't ever show up a year um, and you know is the person telling me the truth this is the question you don't know that I can't know that. So, um, yep. So, if you want that cheaper method and you're willing to give it a whirl, then just contact me before you purchase, and then I will do, you know, I can set you up a listing. I think this would be pretty on the back, and I think you could write on here. Yeah, I think that goes really well with these birdies. So, I'm going to put a bit of glue on here. Make sure I get plenty of glue around the center of this you know and I could um, print out this was a postcard I could print out a postcard sort of um, to put on the back of it but sometimes I just like to mix it up and it's it it's got something else on the back okay so let's get tearing I need to tear this I'm trying to maintain my torn edges because even though this is not like a jagged edge ruler it's you still get nice torn sort of light torn look I cannot believe I, I mean I literally don't have any tags left and only a couple of journaling cards left it's just incredible after the hundred day project where I made on each day multiples isn't that lovely multiples of things um i don't have any more like oh, I'll have to do another hundred day project won't i no i'm not going i'm don't don't hold me that i'm not doing it no 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 <laughs> i'm just joking oh i shouldn't say that um so this one will fit nicely there but uh, oh no it's will it uh, yes just but i won't be able to tear it i have to cut it because i don't have any uh, enough edged so I'm just making some really quick, cute little things using some of my own personal um, scanned antique ephemera. Um, 
I'll just stitch around. I'm not even going to put any tabs on it because sometimes you just need, as I've said, this will be the third time, some things that aren't too bulky to slip into pockets. And I'm using up um, some of my antique um, embroidered linens on the back just for a point of difference so that when someone flips it over, it's very pretty on the back. And if you're an inker, you could go ahead and ink that. No problem at all. I'm not an inker, so I don't. So that's not going to be... But that could become a little journaling card. I could do something with that. Um, now, where are my others? So, I mean, this could be quite a boring video for you guys. If you don't, you know, like if you're not interested in seeing this, you can um, move on to the next video. That's no problem at all. So, some more antique postcards that I am yet to publish. I might have published her, have I? I don't know. I've been using her quite a bit in my, uh, putting her in as um, journal pages. I, I mean, the dress is beautiful. You probably can't see the details on here, but it's all lacy. Um, and I've printed them quite small. I just, I've got all these little sort of tuck spots that are stitched onto the edge of the page and things and I don't like to put too many two things that are too heavy in those because um, they do you know they sort of only lightly hold whatever you put in there so um, that's why I want to make some things like this and I might decide to go ahead and um, maybe make a tab or something. Where's my tab pad? Oh, all the way over there. So I'm just going to tear around these. They're not even printed out postcard size. They're smaller. Um, now, my husband did a funny yesterday. So it was our friend's birthday and we were invited to their place for dinner for, to celebrate her birthday. And so um, I went to the supermarket. We can buy, I don't know if you can in the States or in, in England, but in Italy, you can't in Australia, but in Italy you can buy wine in the supermarket and um, so anyway I asked my husband if I could buy a Beluki Rosé. Um, Beluki is a very well-known brand here of Prosecco it's you know slightly more expensive than some of the other ones and so I, didn't, I just wanted to you know get didn't want him to freak out. I mean, it wasn't that expensive it was only 13 euro it wasn't that mad but um, I mean wine's much more expensive in Australia um, but yeah there were a lot of us so we only got a tiny sip of it but it was very nice anyway he wrote back to me um, from work and he said sure you plunger and I just cracked up I said I had to write back it's not you plunger it's you plonko he always says that he always forgets that you, in, I don't know if that's just Australian plonko so you're a bit of a plonko when you like to have a, a glass of wine um, but I mean, he knows, he knows the expression, but he always gets it wrong and called me a plunger. So I thought that was really funny. And look, this is one of my doilies, and I love it. And I'm going to put this here. And what I did when I scanned this, um, because I knew that I might print it on a white paper, I actually put a piece, and I can see the grain of it, of some of my recycled printing paper that's an oatmeal -y sort of color very light oatmeal so instead of where you've got the scallop here and I don't have to fussy cut it that way um, I got the oatmeal color um, so yeah so I really like that idea oh dear just gas bagging this is a great way to um, just get a whole lot of stuff done I think and try and do 50 minutes or an hour and hopefully I'll have enough to finish off those journals hopefully I don't want to go too close to the edge but I can go a little bit with that like that and I might put another one I might glue a few on oh need my little card to flatten it out so this is super fast ephemera let's call it the fast ephemera video I probably don't need to glue right to the edge but here I go I'll let them, well, I don't let them dry too much, do I, before I use them. Um, so maybe I prefer her to go on to something. Now there's a white piece of paper, we don't want that. 
No, I think I didn't. Oh, oh, I think I prefer her to go on this more lacy looking one. I can't wait to have time. Well, actually, probably when it's not quite as hot as it is too right now. But I can't wait to have time to go out and see if I can find any other different patterned lace doilies. Uh, plastic ones, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Of course you know what I'm talking about. So that's there. That. Okay, so let's just tear these. I mean, super exciting video, guys, isn't it? Mr. Dane, come back with something as exciting as this. But this is what you're going to have to put up with, is me doing some ephemera, because I've run out, as I said. Run out. It's amazing. If you're putting quite a bit of handmade ephemera into your journals, it's just amazing how much they eat them up. Okay, I think I'll glue something else here. I think something like this I would like. I think that could, can it fit there? Let's let me see. I'd have to put it right. No, I'm going to get the white. I don't want to get the white. So I'll put it there. Okay, so let's just get the glue on. Then we might move on in a minute. Well, I'll finish these and then we'll move on and do a few tags. Like, I want to do some long tags. I like the long tags because then they can poke out the big long pockets. I don't have too many of these. I mean, there's nothing too complex going on here. Just make sure I want them to be flattened. There we go. That one. And then what this. This is what this looks like. I think this one. Oh, I think all of these would be very nice on here. I won't get all of them, will I? Oh, what about like that? No. Nope. No, nope, I'm going to get the white. So I'll put that one there, and then the other one will have to go on another paper. so excited to finish three journals. I'll tell you what, they've been going on for quite a long time. I bet my customers are excited too. I'm just not getting the white there. Okay, probably went a little bit too close. So, I think I might have to cut these. I think I'm just going to cut them. to that one. Okay. They get a nice, um, when you just do the regular copy paper, you know, front and back, it's just a nice weight, not too thick. See? Pretty. temperature is going up and up and up here, much to my delight. And my hubby will be on holidays from tomorrow for two weeks um, because they have kind of um, in a lot of companies because um, so someone asked me is Lulu going back to school? No, Lulu is not going back to school yet. Italy has the most ridiculously long summer holidays. They basically have pretty much all of their summer all of their holidays in one hit so um, they do three and a half months holiday in, in summer um, and then they do they go to school then they have uh, two weeks off at Christmas and then they have a couple of days off at Easter and that's it because they've done it all in summer and so by the time they're at the end of school um, which is the hardest time at school 
um, of the school year towards the end in, in like April, May, they're pretty tired. Cause, you know, they, and, and you know what? Lily's been bored already for a month. She already wants to go back to school. And I said, can I record you? Can I just take note of that? Because you, after a month at school, you'll be like, I want to go on holidays. So, um, yeah, so Lily doesn't start back at school until uh, the, it's ridiculous, until the 16th or 17th of September. So, uh, I know the UK is a bit like Australia. Um, the school year is, di year is divided up into, um, th in Australia, I think it's like th three or four, four parts. It was three when I was at school. I don't know about the UK. I think maybe there as well. Or maybe it's just three. I'm not sure. I have to ask my friend. She lives in the UK. Um, and I don't know about the States at all. Um, so, um, yeah. So, no. that Their holidays, the holiday, holiday time in Italy is um, August. So, a lot of businesses sort of completely shut for two weeks at August. Or some businesses even close for a whole month because um, people go on holidays because the kids are on yeah that's when the people go on holidays so and it's and it's hot you know the Italians say oh no the kids can't go to school when it's hot because their classrooms aren't air conditioned so um, so yeah that's how it is in Italy oh, no, I had oh oh I had more things over here that are lovely to do I thought I had more oh, look at so many oh those are printed out too small um, those I wanted to use. I wanted to use those for long tags. This one would be pretty. I think this one or that one would be very pretty on the back of her. Maybe this one. Um, yep, so Lily's still on holidays for quite some time and now her dad's going to be on holidays for two weeks as well. And he says he's going to help me because I am just so far behind with everything. And it's really just, maybe, maybe I won't have to ship out too much. Who knows? But, you know, I do clever things like make bundles up and then um, I have to package them, you know, ship them all out. Not that I'm complaining. I'm very happy and thankful. Thank you, guys. Um, but it's just the logistics of it, you know, packaging up parcels and doing all the documents if it, they're going with the courier and stuff. It really just takes up a lot of your time. So my hubby's going to help me, he said, if I have a lot, lot to do. Though, Although he'll be like, let's go to the beach because it's going to be really hot next week. Really hot. Oh, and next Thursday is a public holiday here. I don't understand what what it is. It's called Fedagosto. I don't know what it means. I've never understood. There you go. Those are done. So I won't bore you with doing any more of those. We'll do some tags, long tags now. How cool are they? Really, I'm really happy with those. Oh, that one I've got a fussy cut still. I need to do some more of those. Love that postcard. Okay. So they're all things that I've got the originals of, not things that have come off the internet, if you know what I mean. Now, I want some long tags. So I'm just going to eyeball it. And I don't want them. Maybe I want it that long. Maybe a bit longer. And, oh, I need to see that's not even glued down. And I want to get on to, I want to do some of the minis for Tracy Fox's The Foxy Crafters Rack for this month. I want to do that. And I haven't decided yet. Well, I have a few ideas, but um, but they're not my ideas. They're other people's ideas. So I just wanted to maybe go and see if the original video um, and then decided I should keep that. That could be good for a mini. Um, so, yes, I want to get on to that too as well. Too many things, too many things to do. Right, now this one's quite wide, so I'll keep those. Those are good for the minis. Look, I can line it up here. So just prepare my bases, and then I can get cracking. Get cracking! Now I'm looking and thinking journal card, but I know those are going to be the journaling cards. I need to make, the, um, what are they called? Tags. Again, I'm finding that I like the proportion where the writing ends. Hmm. 
Lulu, can I show your painting? Can you bring it to me, please? Lulu did a beautiful painting that she gifted to me today. I'll have to show you. She's gonna. She did a watercolor. Couldn't do that if you held a gun to my head. What she did. So did that come off your head, out of your head? Yeah. Well, I saw some inspiration. Is I it not? Can it. you see it? Have a look through the thing. Yeah, they can see it. See, look what she did. Isn't it amazing? Not that good. Yes, it is. I love it. Where well, am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it so I, I can see know. it? I'm going to have to have another, a new, another gallery. I'll just put it over there. I think it's wonderful. Good job, Lily. Thank you, Mummy. Good job. Oh, that's a narrow one because I haven't used up these book pages and they've been like I'm just making sure I've got to get some more glue in there otherwise they go from experience if they don't have enough glue because these were just pages that I was gluing on as you probably remember um, then they get a little bit puffy when you go to stitch them and things so then they're no good well you can use them anyway but um, why I'm going to, thinking I'm keeping all of those bits. I'll end up with a million of them. So as you can see, I'm preparing quite a lot because I need many. Oh, God. did you hear that, guys? Did you hear that? The eternal question, what are we having for dinner? And do you know what the answer is? Come and tell, the, tell them what my answer is. My answer is as eternal as her question. I don't know. <laughs> it's my answer. I don't know. Dunno in Aussie. Dunno. Or if you want a, a bit of Italian. Boo, boo. When my cousin and I learned that when we lived in Florence in the 90s. We loved it. We used to say it to Lily, Whoa. you just put your hands up like this, Whoa. like, and your shoulders go up and you're like, I don't know. So, um, yes, funny things that you learn. Well, this is very relaxing, tearing paper. Quite a few here to do. I've got one more after this and then we can... And I, I'm guaranteeing you guys these are not going to be anything flash. Very simple. They'll be pretty, but they will be simple. So basically, I could tear that bit off there. And that one is already plain on that side. And I might keep that width. I'm going to keep that width. Okay, so this... Uh, oh, it's plain on that side as well. Oh, how about that? Well, not there. Cover up this side. Okay, and basically what I wanted to do with these is just get my... Doilies. I think I'll go that way and um, put them on. So what I do is get the glue onto that means glue. Oh, that's where that went. You see, it was glued to the bottom. I couldn't find it. Well, it was glued there. <laughs> oh, well, you know. You know how it is. I don't think I put any glue inside. I can do that afterwards. This one. So a lot of glue stick is used up. Oh, someone asked me, and I haven't answered my comments yet from last night. Um, someone asked me, why with some papers did I use PVA glue? And then why uh, did I use, um, with other papers, the, uh, the glue stick? Um, well, it just depends, like, for example, if I've... If an image is printed on like cardstock and then I've stitched around it, I sort of feel like um, it will hold better if I use the PVA. That's my only reason. I just might feel feel like I might just feel like it, but it might just because I feel like um, that it will hold better um, because the paper's heavier and there's stitching as well. That's the only reason why I do that. Don't know whether to. I might keep it for a mini. Now I'm thinking about minis. 
mini what? I don't know. And I think the minis are going to be fiddly. Sometimes it takes longer to make something that's small than something that's big. Okay. Now, let me just check that I'm recording because you know how it is. Okay, so that's that side. And I was thinking I might even leave that side. I, I may put a tab on top of these um, to make them a little bit more interesting. But these are very pretty things just to slip into a pocket. So I think I'll just put that over there. I'm going to use it all up. I've got this nice piece here to use. I might just get one of, grab one of these. There's a wider one. And sometimes these longer tags are kind of a little bit harder to decorate, I think. Well, that's what I find anyway. I don't know about other people. Um, so sometimes um, it's nice. It's just nice to um, put a scanned embroidery or something on the back of it. Now, um, if anyone is in Lindsay Zanor's group, Nevermore Creations, on Facebook, I know some of you are very worth um, be after. Maybe some of you have seen um, Dolly's video on uh, Gypsy Rose Papery, and she's been having a bit of a rough time. I don't really understand what happened, but something has happened, and she's shut her her store. And um, I think she might have used a stamp. I don't know in what capacity she used the stamp. Whether the stamp had been scanned, or whether it was just in a journal, or but someone has been nasty to her about it. Um, so there's um, been a lot written on the Facebook groups and things. And I even had a comment from someone who was worrying about it, Diane. Um, now, I think if you're using the stamps, there's no problem for personal use. And I think in quite a lot of cases, even if you're selling a journal, um, if you're selling a journal, then you can use your stamps. Um, mostly and um, just you know like um, I have seen uh, quite a lot of people have scanned um, new fabrics newish fabrics you don't don't scan new fabrics I don't even know about old fabrics um, like yeah I mean obviously if it's like a gauze or you know like something that's just a tool or or knitting or something like that or it's a ticking or that sort of thing I don't think there's any problem with those but if it's something that's an identifiable sort of famous pattern like a Sanderson fabric I would never scan a Sanderson fabric because um, you know they're still around and they're still making fabrics and I think you know they probably are copyrighted so however that being said um, Lindsay on her Facebook, I mean, Lindsay's very knowledgeable about these things, Lindsay Zenor. Um, she's Lindsay Zenor on YouTube. And in her Facebook group, she put a link. Maybe I'll try, I'll put the link, I'll put the link below um, in my video here. I'll try to remember. I saved it. Um, and she reads this website. I don't really understand the website that well, but I did understand the article that she shared. Um, I didn't really understand how that website works, but anyway, um, it's a very informative website about misuses of copyright. So, but misuses like abuses of copyright in the sense that people threaten you and say this is under copyright, and then it's not necessarily under copyright. And now, am I just waffling? You need to go and read the article, and then you'll see. Um, but she's very knowledgeable. Um, Lindsay, she's very good with all this sort of stuff. Um, and basically, there's a whole, there's been no cases that have ever been won brought against anyone who uses um, a stamp in something for sale. And I'm not saying go and scan the stamps; I wouldn't do that necessarily. Um, but um, well, I did actually, but I didn't, I didn't think about it, and then I didn't do anything with them. Um, uh, but yeah, don't don't scan them. But you can, I, I from what I understood from the article, you can use them because this law, 
that they're going on about. Um, well, basically, what it, I understood from the article was that you're buying the stamp. You're not signing a contract. Nobody's making you sign a contract. So they're saying that there's this um, angel law contract sort of thing. Um, but you're not signing anything. They're not asking you. And... Um, and that you can use the items because it's a tool. Stamps are tools. And um, and no cases have been won where, where they've tried to bring a case against someone for using uh, a stamp in something they were selling. Anyway, that doesn't mean that, you know, go crazy and do crazy things with them. But, you know, just maybe... I'm always a bit nervous about everything and I get an anxiety about these things. Um, but um, maybe you know just be cautious but don't you don't have to go into a panic is what I'm trying to say because I went in, I go oh, when I hear all this stuff I go into a panic and think oh god what have I where am I where have I done something wrong I'm sure I've done something wrong somewhere because it's <laughs> it's a bit like um, and it I mean it's worse because it's laws and stuff but it's like with doing the um, differentiated rubbish I've always put something wrong somewhere like even in Italy they even gave us a whole list of things but who can who has time to read the list and see where things should go and things that you think um, like lolly wrappers apparently lollies are sweets in Australia um, lolly wrappers apparently have plastic in them and tea bags apparently um, have you know have to go into the um, mixed rubbish and not anything else and that sort of thing so but you know we make mistakes so um, I'm sure I've made mistakes somewhere I try not to but anyway just guess bagging just filling in time so um, yes I'll, I will link that below so that way you lovely ladies can go and read Lindsay's article because it's a very good article and um, and, oh, and um, one of my subscribers, um, if anybody was having any doubts about um, Stamperia, one of my subscribers actually contacted them and asked them, and they said, sure, you can use um, their goods in things that you sell. And, you know, I, I would assume that would extend to their stamps as well. So that's good to know, because they don't, I, as I mentioned, they don't have any policy on their written anywhere I couldn't find it anywhere on the website so um, and I couldn't find anything written on the you know the paper pads or anything like that the paper packs but um, they have been asked and they have said yes so that's comforting isn't it that's one less to worry about okay so I've got some more embroideries and I do like these I'm going to put that one there very pretty and so as you can see super fast and hopefully oh, can you imagine I probably don't even have enough with all of these for these three journals and that and you know that it's not a problem like not really in a hurry but these these three are the oldest outstanding journals and when my last batch of journals that I made I um, I had uh, one of the I had offered one of the journals to one but I hadn't made it big enough she wanted a bigger one with more signatures and things so and I knew that so I said please you know if there's one that you just feel like you really like it then take it but if you don't um, I haven't done exactly what you asked because I kind of got confused for a minute then I then I started right I've written everything down in book now in a book so um, and I make sure I, I make myself refer to it every five seconds so I don't make mistakes look at that with linen embroidery how easy it is just to get a pretty tag oh that's already 44 minutes there we go um, and again I'm just going to put some I might put some of this on the back and I want to get the bit where there's the scalloping as well because I like that so I'll just get some glue on here um, yep so I just am feeling like I want to sort of get these journals done and out to these my lovely patient, very patient ladies. So um, and then I've got I'm going to get on to the next two, 
and um, and then I'll do. I don't know whether I did these in threes. The last ones I did in fives, but they were just like it takes me. I did five, and then the time before I did five. Um, but um, it takes a while, so maybe I should do twos. Maybe then I'll feel like I'm getting somewhere. Okay. Talk about a waffle. Just having a big waffle today. Really waffling on. Oh, I, I love that. Do you see? Got a batch drying out. I haven't done any um, sort of... Um, what do you call it? Coffee, coffee dyeing for a few days. Just had a break from it. Um, so today I've got a batch out. Now I could have one going down there and one going there. See, just trying to use it. And I'll keep, I'll keep the rest of the paper because it's a linen. It's just a plain linen, but it's nice. It can be a nice background for something. So that one's going to go there, and I'll put it towards the edge. There because I need to have a bit of tearing space. So what am I going to cook for dinner? Who knows? Who knows? I don't want to cook anything for dinner, is the truth of the matter. I don't want to cook anything. I'd like to be wined and dined. I'm still here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, other side. Oh, I hope I've done everything here. That one I was... No. See? Look what happens. Didn't do that one either. Love them. And, of course, you can put them... You can put your real um, uh, coffee-dyed paper on the back as well. There's no reason why you can't um, do that. I might put that yellow there. Oh, no, I can't. It won't fit. Okay, I won't put the yellow there. I'm going to put some of this. Might as well use it up. Lovely instantaneous tags. I can go right to the edge here. Actually, you know what I could do? I could stop doing this and finish them off. And then I could do it off screen, couldn't I? So you could see a finished product. So that's that one. Now this one. What was I going to put in this one? I was going to put... I don't think I want to put that one. I might put... Oh no, I don't want to put another embroidery, do I? Just let me see what I've got here. No. So yes, I might have to put that line up. Well, maybe I, this is a bit thicker. I might use this one, yes. I put it, but I put it more in the centre to get more of the pattern. Now that one would have been better, but I didn't have that paper then. If I had... I could put some onto straw paper too. Sorry, when I when I went to the post office, I thought this um, post this. I'm just going to tear off the excess and just keep the pattern. Um, she thought it was an like nobody ever uses this poster mail because it's slow. Um, it's all slow these days, I find. Um, so she was thinking it was a new product. She's like, oh, I haven't had any um, notifications about any new pro postal products. And I'm like, well, it's on your website. So anyway, then she's so nice. Um, there weren't any people there. 
Um, and so she had a look on the on their computer and found it. She said, oh, okay, because she had forgotten about it. See, that's nice. I like that. Okay, so why don't I stop? I've got two more, three more to do, but I can do those. It's just more of the same afterwards. And let's, oh, I've got four more to do. Um, put that back down on the ground. And then let's just see about, got my wet towel here. I'll just put that, probably get a wet back. Um, I just want to see about, we might do just a little bit of stitching. I won't stitch them all, but we'll do a little bit of stitching and decide. So I don't think I'm going to put anything on that one, whether I want to tab on them or not. And then the rest I'll finish after, off screen. Bring the sewing machine over. Now, I don't want to put any fabric tabs on there or anything too bulky. It's going to have to be paper. Am I recording? You say, oh, 50 minutes, taking a long time, aren't I? Now, I could zigzag or I could straight stitch. I think I'll straight stitch. Not very big. many things over and didn't use any of them. Now just a second I'm going to go over and get my tab punch. Okay I'm back. Oh the wet thing fell down my back. Oh no it didn't. Okay here I am. Oh, fell on the floor. Okay, so um, and what I've got here, now that's not going to be any good. Just wanted to see. That might be a waste of that paper. See this? Uh, yeah, why don't I use some of this? So I need to fold it in half. Make some tabs. Do you remember how do I use it? Oh. oh, I've got to go in the other way, so I've got to cut it. Ding dong. And then I just bring it slightly under, as you've seen me do it before, and I've got a tab. We have a tab. But the other thing is I'm not going to throw that out because that, to me, I'm going to tear it. Or maybe I'll open it and tear it. And I'll have it that way. Yeah. So I'm going to tear it. Maybe I'll tear it even there, so it's all torn. And I'm going to fold it that way, and I'm just going to slip it up there and look at that. It's going to go on the top of the tag. And I'm going to zigzag across the top. And you can see I just fed it in after the other one. So you save on thread, and you normally save on time. I turn with my needle down, bring my needle up, and I'm going to go back to straight stitch. And the reason why I zigzagged at the top was just to capture that better so it doesn't sort of bend up. So that's just a nice little tag to tuck into a pocket. Okay, and then for example, this one's wider, so I might put this tab on it. Yes. Can I put it that way? I think I'll put it that way. Okay. I heard a message on my phone. I'm hoping it's my husband's cousin saying, do you want to go out and have dinner? And I'll be like, yes.
very nice. Simple but nice. Where's the other one? There. Oh, up. I'm going to go straight. I want to go down straight just so because the zigzag takes up this sort of space and then you've got less space for writing whereas you do the state straight stitch then it's got more space for writing. a little teeny tiny cl tiny cluster of um, textile or something like that if you wanted to um, I'm just going to cut another tab out of this one I think I like that side more it's a good way to use up your scraps of paper here too put that there Tear this. And I'm going to have it on the other side like I did with the other one, just for something different. And I think I'll use it on this linen one because I like it with the linen one. There we go. Yeah. And I want my needle up. Never change your type of stitch with your needle down, ever. Because it'll, it'll snap. Because it changes position. When you, when you change the type of stitch, the needle moves. And so if it's down in some fabric or um, in some paper, it'll snap. I'll probably snap it off now. Sometimes even these simple things are just as lovely as anything that you've collaged or done a whole lot of work on. I mean, they, you can see they still take time. It's not like it takes two seconds to do them. Oh, now let's look at that. Oh, I left that one there. I can't even remember. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Here we go. We've got a bit of music. I don't want... No, I wanted... Um, you know what I wanted there? Straw paper. And it's inside. It's not... It's in the box. In the box it is. Do I have any straw paper that I've got that's big enough? Just a second, guys. I do apologise. Here we go. Many moons later. Just fold the whole strip and I can go along and punch them out as I need them. But don't tell me I'm feeling like changing my mind. Okay. Let's see what happens. No, I do like it on there, you see. I'm not changing my mind. Needle up, change to zigzag. Grab these. 
These are these yummy things that I just had a play with the other day that I haven't used yet. And like as I was saying, you could just, you know, add a little bit of something somewhere to add a bit of texture. Does that make sense? So you'd like a little piece of this and then maybe um, to soften it a little piece of knitting or something like that. So I'm not going to do it, I don't think, on these. I was just showing you. You know, you can have a little bit of something if you wanted to. Anyway, let's get on. This one I think would be nice with music paper, so I think... I, oh, there's good music paper. I think I might tear it. We don't want to tab everything, do we? There we go. It's a good colour. Okay, I think this will be the last one. Um, and then I'll get on with them. I'll get on with them. Oh, I zigzagged all the way around that one. I forgot. I was too excited. Well, I can... Um, I can um, yes, I'm going to zigzag around this one too because it's slightly bigger tag. This one wasn't, but anyway. Mistakes happen. lovely and white and crisp and I really do love the contrast between the white and the old color. I really do and I think this lady would benefit I said I was going to stop but this lady would benefit from a bit of music paper as well because she kind of reminds me like maybe of an opera singer or something like that yes I like that so one more. I said I was going to finish, but I told a lie. Okay, let's just do a recap of what I've done. Okay. Oh gosh, an hour. So I've done all these. These ones are finished. I'll show you the finished ones. And they are just going to go in long pockets or short pockets, just wherever. Coffee dyed paper on the back. Scanned coffee dyed paper, I should say. Um, this one. So I've got a lot done in an hour. And that one's got. And then these ones I still have to finish. They just have to be stitched, as you know, so I'll just show you those as well. So coffee dyed. Oh, I love these. So cute. And most of those had coffee dyed on the back. And another thing I was thinking, these could even be embossed because some of these postcards had that embossing on them as well. I must do that. I've got a little embossing thing. And then this is one of my faves. This is gorgeous. Yeah. So I'm going to do some more of those. Okay, so that is it. Thank you for watching today. And it was fairly simple. Um, if you didn't like it, I hope you went you went forward. Um, you can give me a thumbs down if you want to because YouTube sees that as activity. And so I do appreciate it. Um, a, th a thumbs up would be better. But, you know, it doesn't matter. There's no skin off my nose. Um, and um, anyway, when you need some quick ephemera because the book's big and you can't fill it with all handmade stuff because then it become a, a, a gator mouth, um, these are good options to do. So thank you for watching and I might see you tomorrow. Bye.